Hey, how's it going guys? So we just got a pretty good dumping of snow. I'd say maybe six to eight inches and we're expecting more later in the week. It's been a pretty mild winter so far with very little snow. So this is a nice change of pace. And with this storm, I realized that I want to get my other snowmobile running. I already made a video about this uh, 79 Everest and you can see I've already taken this one for a rip this morning. Running awesome. But I also have this 96 Skidoo MXZ 583. So this is actually the first snowmobile I bought. Got it for, I think it was about 300 bucks and turned out to be a complete basket case. <laughs> I wanted a project, I wanted to just learn more about sleds. So I decided to buy it anyway, knowing what I was getting into um, to some extent. Ended up having to do a full top end rebuild on it. It had awful compression, like 30 PSI in one cylinder, 60 in the other. Turns out it had some stuck rings and was just pretty, pretty gross on the inside of those cylinders. So cleaned them up a little bit, threw in a top end rebuild kit. Now it's getting 125, 130 PSI. So I fixed that issue and it actually had it running the last storm we got for about one morning. Maybe drove it a total of three miles. It's basically died on me, and I think it's a carb issue. There are some issues with flooding, possibly a stuck needle. So I bought a carb rebuild kit, and I'm going to try to get this thing running tip top. So here's issue number one. Oops. see if we can get anything out of it before I take the cards out I'll show you what it was doing some primes oh. see it runs kind of but as soon as you give it any gas and then I usually get too cavalier with a primer and end up flooding it. Pulsar is pretty poppy. earlier so this thing is just cemented into the ground there it goes okay let's try it again same problem I had last time where I could get it started as soon as I got it going for a bit it started to flood itself it could be as simple as a stuck needle so I have a rebuild kit let's take those carbs out and go to town and if you're wondering about this old arctic cat this is my friend's um he just keeps it here so we can ride together but she runs pretty good a lot better than this pile you have no idea how many times these carbs have come off of here 
Maybe this will be the last time. Carb Uno. There's number two. So yeah, here I think this is the one that's leaking. Because there's a bunch. It's like a puddle of fuel right there. So yeah, let's see. Okay, let's start with this one. I'm gonna do something very mature which I always forget to do, which is wear gloves. So we don't smell like fuel for the rest of the week. In my experience, these things always come with way more parts than you really need. Like, I don't need to replace every single little screw, cushion, gasket. I mean, I might as well if I have it, but sometimes it's just more work than it's worth. The other thing is they come with a bunch of different size, sizes of jets, and you need to look up online what size works for your model and your carb. Yep, that looks about the same size. So it's time to look up what sizes I need. So let's call this one the PTO, which is 270. There's the 270. I know I shouldn't be using needle nose, but I'm lazy. And these are available. Out with the old. This thing is really beat up, but I think we have to keep, hold on to it. Beautiful. So again, had to double check the right size is 45. Beautiful. I will use the new shiny screws though. Okay, let's do the mixture screw which according to the docks should be at one and seven eighths. I think I'm in way tighter than that. Oh yeah, so like one and a quarter. So let's try one and seven eighths, I'll also replace it because might as well, I guess. Do a comparison here. Old versus new. New one's definitely cleaner. Things look identical, but we'll use the new one.
Okay. One half, one, one and a half. Seven eighths is like there. Guess we'll start there. So this is done. Gonna go do the second thing. Same as the first. And just like that, it's dark. But I have the carbs back in. I've given the engine, I don't know, two hours. So hopefully it's not flooded anymore. And I'm just gonna pull this thing over a bunch and I really hope it just starts working perfectly. But yeah, fingers crossed, let's see what happens. Thing and this thing's flooded. Oh, what fun! What fun! I really hate this thing. I'm so sick of you. What do we got? Yep. Soaking. Luckily, I have some other. I have some other plugs. Um, take you out. Oh. Do the old switcheroo. I pull it over a couple times. Clear out all that. Ah, my plug. you shooting into the air as much as it sometimes does. <laughs> Alright, got some fresh plugs. Come on. In the hole. Oh, it's cold. Windy. And snowy. Just want the stupid thing to work. You have no idea how much time I put into this stupid sled. Was it worth it? No. Is this just sunk cost at this point? Absolutely. But it's just a chance that everything will work perfectly right now. That's what I keep telling myself. One squirt. One squirt only. Half squirt.
sounding better. This is sounding better. garbage doesn't want to accelerate at all spogs out it idles oh what do you think is going on and there it goes all right let's see what those plugs look like now burning belt, which I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to smell burning belt. Seems like I shouldn't be smelling burning belt. Okay, yeah. Looks a little lean now, wouldn't you say? Looks completely different. It's dark and oily. So, that's interesting. I wonder if this one is even firing at all. Okay, it's the next morning. I had some issues with my camera last night, kept cutting out. So basically update, I threw some new plugs in there because the old ones were fouled. And I realized before it was only running on one cylinder. And I think because one of the plugs was fouled. So new plugs and I got it to run pretty good. Actually took it for a pretty long trip this morning. So, yeah, it's been sitting for a couple hours now. I'll just show you a cold start here. A couple of primes. Maybe a couple more primes. It's not running perfectly. Sometimes it bogs down a bit and I have to prime it a little and then, you know, it, it works a bit. So the carbs probably aren't perfectly adjusted. Might be a little lean. Um, so the next step is this wiring harness going to the dashboard. It 
got fried. <laughs> this was a couple weeks ago. Um, it wasn't tethered to anything. And so I was riding around. It landed on the hut exhaust here. Fried right through this. Started shorting things out. So I ended up having to just unplug it. I haven't had any, you know, instruments working. So I'm going to see if I can do some ugly repairs on this. Hook it up again. And yeah. And there she is. What do you think? <laughs> on a scale of one to 10, how ugly is that? Let's put some tape over it to hide our sins. There. It's like we were never here. So let me hook this up, put another zip tie in here so it doesn't get fried again. Although it's probably too short now, but I'll put a zip tie there anyway and let's see if stuff works. Oh yeah, more snow. Still coming down. I'd say we have maybe a foot on the ground now. Probably we'll get a couple more inches through the day, but pretty beautiful out here. Perfect time to test out the MXZ and see how she goes. Stupid freak. 
Okay, it's a new day. Got a couple inches of powder on the ground. I fixed the MXZ last time, the pull start broke. Um, I just had to take it apart, clean it, put it back together. The little plastic thing in there needs to be replaced because it's getting worn out. So, um, honestly, if I pull it too hard, it's going to break again. It needs to be fixed and replaced, as I said. Um, but So maybe I'll get to that. Maybe I'll sell this thing. I don't know yet. Um, I put a lot of work into it, and I'm hoping today that I can just take it for a rip in this new powder, and it won't die on me. So let's see what happens. Man, I'm stupid. <laughs> so this is where I filmed that drive-by. Drove up here, gutting it. Over this hill. Past the camera. Hit the brakes about right here. Held the brakes. All through here. But I forgot is that there's like two inches of snow on top of basically sheer ice here. Kept sliding. Kept sliding. Saw the trees coming. Decided to bail out right about there. And the old MXZ, she kept on cruising. It's a good thing she was already ugly, huh? I think we can pull her out there and shouldn't be too bad. too bad now so still a couple little things um, it's still fouling plugs it might just be it's too rich I just need to bring that mixture down a bit the pull start needs to be re re the, uh, the little plastic cam in there needs to be replaced kind of a common failure for these things especially when they're 25 years old so yeah what do you what do you guys think should I keep this thing should I try to sell it should I try to fix it up prime keep it as a beater well, not prime, it's, it'll never be prime again, but you know, reliable. It's not reliable, I would say, but it's fun, it rips. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Until next time.